All right, today we're gonna to talk about ecological succession. So this is gonna be super easy, super quick set of notes. So I'm excited, let's get started. Okay, so in case you don't know, the definition for succession is a series of changes in which community complexity increases over time. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, essentially what that means is that you have a low biodiversity, you don't have very many species around, and so you're going to increase that. You're gonna increase in numbers. So I know this is a review for all of y'all, but you know, for those of you that just need that little bit of review, there are two types. We have two types of succession. Apparently Siri wants to talk to me. Okay, so two types of succession. So we have primary succession. Okay, so primary succession, very basic. Okay, so this starts on bare rock. Okay, so you're going to have some starter species. Those starter species are going to be things like mosses and lichens. And we call those pioneer species. They're first, they're first on the scene. This is very, very slow. Okay, this takes hundreds or sometimes thousands of years. And usually this happens after you have a volcano. Or glacier moving. Okay, so it happens after volcano eruption um, or your glacier uh, moving. Okay, so keyword right here. Okay, we're gonna start on bare rock and it's pioneer species. That's for primary succession. Okay, so remember, this is where you have your volcano. Okay, so here's your volcano. There we go, and it's spewing lava. Okay, here's a little bit of lava. Okay, so you can draw probably a more fancy volcano than I, than I will. All right, so after primary succession, we have secondary succession. secondary succession. So when we're talking about secondary succession, secondary succession starts with soil. Okay. This one happens more often. So a secondary succession um, you know, we're starting with soil, this one happens more often, and it happens after natural disasters. So, usually the ones that you think about. So, things like hurricanes, flooding. Things like that, so etc. Okay? So we also have to remember this happens after human activities. Okay, so also after human activities. Okay, so for example, logging. Okay, so basically anything that is going to leave soil there. Okay, so that's when this happens. Okay, so you know, anything like tornadoes, if I have my little house here, let's see here. There's my house with my little chimney. Okay, there's a big tornado. Okay, so. Okay, so that would be an example. So after any type of succession, we do have one goal. Okay, our goal is something called a climax community. Okay, so both stop 
when a climax community is established. Okay, climax community is established. Okay, so what does that mean? Essentially what that means is that you have a mature, stable community. Okay, so a mature, stable community. So in general, okay, remember, primary succession starts on bare rock. You have pioneer species, very, very slow. Secondary succession starts with soil, it does happen more often, and it's after natural disasters. Okay, and both stop whenever climax community is established. So hopefully this was easy to understand. Let me know if you have any questions.